क्वेश्चन वन डैश ऑफ टेन फ्रॉम ऑयल ऑफ पेपरमेंट इज यूज टू फ्लेवर टोबैको एंड फूड ए सिट्रनला बी कोलेस्ट्रॉल सी मेंथॉल डी रेटिनॉल द करेक्ट आंसर ओवर योर इज सी मेंथॉल बिकॉज इवन वेन वी सी द एड्स ऑफ टोबैको और एनी अदर मिंट्स एनी मिंट देर इज मेंथॉल विच इज यूज विच गिवस द कूलिंग इफेक्ट For this cooling effect, menthol is used. Option C, menthol is the correct answer. Question two: The hydroxyl derivatives of hydrocarbons, hydrogen atoms, are replaced by dash group. So, if I talk about hydrocarbons, there is this carbon chain which will be attached to one group. This group is known as the functional group. And we have to choose one functional group amongst these options. That is, an halogen. Or a CN group, dash OH group, and dash O dash group. So your dash OH group is nothing but my hydroxyl group. So dash OH will be my hydroxyl derivative, and this will make my alkane and alcohol. Option C, dash OH is the correct answer. Question three, dash CH two OH is the functional group of dash A primary alcohol, B secondary alcohol, C tertiary alcohol, D quaternary alcohol. So if I have this carbon chain. And over here, I attach an OH group. This is my hydroxyl group, making it an alcohol. So this will be H three, H two, H two, and OH. So this is nothing but my dash CH two OH. This dash CH two OH is the same which is given over here in the question. So this is nothing but my primary alcohol. Therefore, option A, primary alcohol, is the correct answer. Question four: Which of the following is an example of primary alcohol? A. Propane two all. B. Pentane one all. C. Butane two all. D. Four comma five di methyl hexane three all. So when we start drawing each of the options, this is propane two all. Propane is three carbons. One, two, three. On the second one, I have an alcohol. Option B is pentane one all. Pentane is five carbons. And on the fifth carbon, I have an OH. This is a primary carbon on which we have an oh but we'll see still look for other options butane to all this is my butane and on the second one i have an oh the fourth option that is option d is my 4,5 dimethyl hexane three all so 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is my hexane On this, I have alcohol on the third one, OH. On fourth and five, fifth, third, fourth and fifth. On the fourth and fifth, I had my dimethyl. So this is my methyl. So if we have a look over, this is my secondary. Even this is secondary. Even this is secondary. The only primary is over here. Therefore, pentane one all is my primary alcohol. Option B is the correct answer. Question five: Which of the following is a secondary alcohol? A. Ethyl alcohol. B. Isopropyl alcohol. C. Methyl alcohol. And D. N. Propyl alcohol. We'll draw all of these. Ethyl alcohol is two carbon with an OH. This is my primary alcohol. B. Isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol. Again, we are drawing only the carbon skeleton. That is the carbon chain skeleton without the hydrogens. It is isopropyl alcohol. Therefore, OH will come on the secondary carbon. This is my secondary carbon, and this entire is my secondary alcohol. But we'll go through the other options as well. The third one is methyl alcohol, that is C dash O H, and the fourth one is N propyl alcohol. Again, C C C, and over here I have an O H. All these three are primary, but only option B is the secondary alcohol. Therefore, option B, isopropyl alcohol, is the correct answer. Question six: The IUPAC name of the given compound is dash. This is my given compound: A butanol, B butane two all, C butane three all. D butane one all. So first, let's just draw the skeleton form of this. This is my carbon chain, butane that is four carbons, and over here I have an OH. Let's start numbering it. So it is one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. We have to follow the lowest number rule. So the carbon which has this OH attached to it has two numbers given to it. In one rule it is two, and in the other it is three. But we have to see the lowest number, that is two. Therefore, it will be butane to all. Option B, butane to all, is the correct answer. Question seven. Tertiary alcohols among the following is A, pentane three all, B, propane one two three triol, C, two methyl butane two all, D, four five dimethyl hexane three all. So, 
and we'll see the first option that is pentane 3 all pentane is 5 carbons therefore 1 2 3 4 5 these are 5 carbons and the third carbon i have my alcohol this is my pentane 3 all propane 1 2 3 triol i will have three carbons that is my propane oh 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 this is my triol neither is this a tertiary alcohol nor is this a tertiary alcohol so we have we'll have two methyl butane two all so butane is four carbons on the second one we'll have a methyl group as well as we'll have an alcohol attached to it so this carbon is my tertiary alcohol there were two methyl butane to all option c is my correct answer question eight iupac name of the compound is this is a compound which is given to us and the four options are four methyl hexane to all option b heptane all option c four methyl hexane to all option d four ethyl pentane to all so over here we'll first draw this we are drawing the same thing without hydrogens this is c2h5 so we'll draw this c2h5 now we'll find the longest chain the longest chain over here is 1 2 3 4 5 but over here it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we'll take this as the longest chain and we'll start the shortest numbering 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is hexane to all and the four there is a methyl so four methyl hexane to all option c is the correct answer yes, question nine two ethyl butane one all is dash ch3 ch2 ch ch3 ch2 oh ch3 ch3 ch ch2 ch2 oh c2 h5 twice ch ch2 oh ch3 twice c dash oh so we are first we'll draw two ethyl butane one all. So first we'll draw a butane. On one there is an alcohol dash OH and on the second one there is an ethyl. So if you go if you go to see this, you see that there's a CH2OH on the other C there's one H attached to it and there are two ethyl groups. So this will be nothing but CH2OH. This is over here, CH2OH. It's over here, over here, but not over here. So, this is ruled out. Now, we have to see that over here there is a CH. So, over here there is a CH. Over here there is a CH2. Therefore, this is also ruled out. This is also ruled out. And two C2H5 groups are attached to the same carbon. Therefore, C2H5 twice. Option C is the correct answer. Question 10. 10. I will pack name of oh dash ch2 dash ch oh dash ch2 oh is dash a glycerol b glycerine c propane 1 2 3 triol d propane triol first let's draw this this is my one carbon which is attached to oh this is the other carbon which is again attached to oh this is my third carbon which is attached to OH. We have just redrawn it, eliminating the hydrogens. That is the simply skeleton form or the chain form of it. So this is nothing but my propane. And on all the carbons, that is 1, 2, 3, that is alcohol. So this is my propane 1, 2, 3 triol. Option C, propane 1, 2, 3 triol is the correct answer. Question 11. The oxygen atom in the ROH is dash hybridized. ROH is nothing but my primary alcohol. So over here R is represented by this carbon chain that is sp3 or hybridized option c is my correct answer question 12 which of the following alcohols is least soluble in water ch3oh there's nothing but my methyl alcohol so this won't be there c3h7oh c2h5oh is again my ethyl alcohol it won't be there c6h13oh c6h13oh is the largest chain and it it has six carbons in it therefore it will Take a longer time to be get soluble in water. Therefore, option D, c 6 h 13 oh is the correct answer. Question 13. Which of the following is the most viscous liquid? A. Ethyl alcohol. B. Glycerol. C. Ethylene glycol. D. Water. Glycerin is the most viscous alcohol. Therefore, option B. Glycerol is the correct answer. 
क्वेश्चन फोर्टीन सोडियम एथॉक्साइड इज ऑप्टेन बाय द रिएक्शन ऑफ इथाइल अल्कोहल विद डैश ए सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड बी सोडियम बाइकार्बोनेट सी सोडियम क्लोराइड डी सोडियम मेटल सो फर्स्ट विल मेक इथाइल अल्कोहल टू डिस इफ आई एड सोडियम मेटल एन ए आई विल गेट सोडियम इथॉक्साइड Sodium ethoxide is what is given in the product form in the question. Therefore, in this reaction, we need to add an A. Therefore, option B, sodium metal, is my correct answer. Question fifteen: Alcohol is an organic compound which reacts with an organic acid to give a ether, B ester, C alkene, D aldehyde. So, if I talk about alcohol, this is C C dash O H. And if I talk about an organic acid, it will be C O O H. So this is this will form something like C O dash C or R O dash R or R dash O dash R or R O dash R dash. This R represents nothing but these C's. So this is nothing but my ester. Option B ester is my correct. IUPAC name of the following is A M bromophenol, B two bromophenol, C three bromophenol. D four bromophenol. So first, we'll just make the phenol. Over here, I have the OH group, and bromine is attached to it. We'll start the counting from OH. That is one, two, three. So this will be my three bromo. Three bromophenol. Option C is my correct answer. Question seventeen one two three tri hydroxy benzene is also known as a pyrogallol, b resorcinol, d hydroquinol, b fluoroglucinol. The common name of one two three tri hydroxy benzene is nothing but pyrogallol. Therefore, option A pyrogallol is the correct answer. Question eighteen which of the following is Dow's reaction? In Dow's reaction, the product that we get is an alcohol. Therefore, option C will not be my answer. Because the product is phenol, therefore this and this are my two products in option C, which are not phenols. Therefore, option C won't be my answer. The remaining options are dash A, B, and D. So out of these, Dow process is the one which has the reagents NaOH and diluted Cl. Therefore, option B is my correct answer. Question nineteen: The Rashing method. Chlorobenzene is converted to phenol by a catalytic oxidation, b catalytic reduction, c catalytic hydrolysis, d acidification. Option C, catalytic hydrolysis, is my correct answer. Question twenty: The R O H angle bond angle in case of methanol is a ninety degree, b hundred and eight point nine degree, c hundred and nine point two eight degrees. D one eighty degrees. The correct answer to this is option C, hundred and nine point two eight degrees. Question twenty one. A common material used in the preparation of aspirin, plastic, and picric is picric acid is dash a methane, b formic acid, c phenol, d alcohol. Option C phenol is used for all of them, aspirin, plastic, as well as picric acid. Therefore, option C phenol is my correct. Classification of ethers is carried out on the basis of a reactivity, b solubility, c alkyl groups attached to oxygen, d inertness. So ethers are ethers are classified as simple or mixed in terms of the alkyl groups that are attached to the oxygen. Thus, option c alkyl groups attached to oxygen is the correct answer. Which of the following is an alkoxy hydrocarbon? A C H three dash O H. C H three dash O H is nothing but my alcohol, so it won't be my alkoxy hydrocarbon. B C H three C O C H three. It is a C O group which is attached to it. C C H three O C two H five. This is nothing but my methoxy ethane. So alkoxy hydrocarbon. And these, this is my, not, not my acid. Therefore, option C is my alkoxy hydrocarbon. Option C is the correct. For which among the following is a symmetrical ether? When I say symmetrical ether, it is it is the ether which has two same groups, whether alkyl or allyl, two same groups which are attached to my oxygen. 
ऑप्शन ए इज माई डाइफिनाइल इथर बी इज एनिसोल सी टू इथॉक्सी प्रोपेन डी मिथाइल टर्ब्यूटाइल इथर सो डाइफिनाइल इथर वेन आई से डाइफिनाइल both of the both of the sides of the oxygen will have the same alkyl or aryl group because it's di and this is one group anisole is not my symmetrical ether option c is two ethoxy propane ethoxy propane ethoxy ethoxy is two carbons propane is three carbons so this is not again not my symmetrical carbon and methyl tert butyl ether that is on one side i will have a methyl but on the other side i will have tert butyl so again this is not my option therefore option a diphenyl ether is the correct answer question 25 the common name of c6h5-o-ch3 is a hexyl methyl ether b benzyl methyl ether c methyl phenyl ether d benzyl ethyl ether so first we'll draw it it is this is my phenyl group dash o dash ch3 so this is my methyl and this is my phenyl so this will be my methyl phenyl ether option c methyl phenyl ether is the correct answer Subject. question 26 the preparation of ethers from alcohols by using sulfuric acid is called as dash a williamson's ether synthesis b continuous esterification process c diazomethane method d wort synthesis option b continuous esterification process is the correct answer Question twenty seven. Systematic name of phenol is dash a benzenol, b glycol, c carbenol. D all of this. The systematic name of phenol is carbenol. The option C carbenol is the correct answer. Question twenty eight. Crown ether was discovered by a Charles Pedersen, b Grignard, c Williamson, d Wontoff. A Charles Pedersen is the right answer. He discovered crown ether. The first crown ether which was developed synthetically was seventeen crown six, fifteen crown six, eighteen crown six, twelve crown six. Option C, eighteen crown six is the correct answer. Question thirty: Ethers are used when the reaction medium required is a acidic, b basic, c inert, d neutral. C inert is the correct answer.